Next question comes in from Al Vanderlaan. This came in a while ago. I just hadn't found a good spot to slot this question in, but it was one that I wanted to get to. And that is about the differences between Windows 10 Home and Pro. What is Pro going to get you if you pay a little bit extra for that upgrade? Uh, so if we look at the security features, they are largely in line between Home and Pro, but Pro does have something called BitLocker, which allows you to encrypt your hard drive for better security. If that's important to you, then Pro might be the way to go. Uh, Pro is really designed for business environments, so if you are using an Active Directory server and you want to log your computer into that, uh, you will probably need a version of Windows Pro to do it. Uh, one thing that uh, they also have are some educational options. Apparently, there's a Windows Take a Test app. I never even heard about this before, but it's used quite heavily in education, I guess. And that is not available on Windows Home, uh, but it is on Pro. So if you're using any of these uh, business features for, again, Active Directory and other uh, networking that goes into running a Microsoft network, you might want to look at going to Pro versus Home. A few of the Windows fundamentals here are also worth talking about. Uh, specifically remote desktop and client Hyper-V. Uh, so remote desktop is something that I use quite a bit around the house, believe it or not, because that allows you to uh, log into another Windows computer with the uh, remote desktop protocol, RDP. And if you have a Windows 10 Pro computer, you can have that be a host for an RDP client. So if I wanted to pop into my gaming machine from upstairs or something, uh, that's a way that I would do that. You cannot run the RDP host on a Windows Home installation, but uh, you can, of course, get third-party software that does the same thing, and oftentimes you can get a free version like VNC or something like that as an alternative. Now, another cool feature of Windows 10 Pro is that you have Hyper-V included in the package. Uh, that is Microsoft's virtual machine software. And what that allows you to do is boot up another operating system inside your running Windows 10 installation. So you don't have to format your hard drive or dual boot or partition. Uh, you can basically just create your own little virtual computer and boot up an old version of Windows, for example, or boot up some uh, Linux stuff that you want to play with. Kind of a fun way to get into other operating systems without, again, having to use a dedicated PC or give up some of your existing PC for that function. Uh, there are more advanced versions available in Windows Server, or you can get something like VMware Workstation. But uh, if you want to try something for free, or at least as part of whatever you paid for Pro, Hyper-V here in its client iteration might be worth playing around with. Again, the upgrade from Home to Pro is about $99, so it's not inexpensive, but if you need some of these features, then it might be worth looking at. But I think for most consumers who are not using these features, uh, Home should be good enough. It will perform pretty much the same as Pro. This channel is brought to you by the LON.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Anuj Zaveri, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.